I'm a resident of Regent Park. I've lived here for about 20 some years. Um, and uh, I'm a TCHC resident. So I'll keep saying TCHC, which means Toronto Community Housing. That's short form for Toronto Community Housing. So Toronto Community Housing is a um, is social housing, City of Toronto social housing. Um, it's where folks uh, get to live in spaces uh, or in apartments and houses, and people are uh, charged 30% of their income as rent. So say someone lives in a four-bedroom apartment and they uh, make $1,000, their rent is 300 If someone lives in a one-bedroom and they make $3,000, they'd be charged 900 regardless of how big or small the space is, it depends on the household income. And I say household income, that means everybody that's living there is there. The rent is based on everyone's income. So uh, how do folks get uh, a TCHC housing is they go through a central wait list. Um, you apply to central, uh, it's a central channel. Folks apply online over the phone, um, which is really great. And we love it. Uh, the bad thing is uh, you can never get it anymore. There's about 15 to 20 years wait list if you're lucky. And that's if you're one, two and three bedrooms. If it's four and five, I don't I don't think they tell us the number. I think it's like forever is the wait. Like, we don't know. Um, why, are, why is the wait list so long? So when I moved here when I was younger, we waited about six years, which felt like a long time. But obviously it's not compared to now. It's because there's a lot more people that can afford to pay the market rent now than they could 10 years ago or 15 years ago. Plus, the way it's supposed to work is we want our governments to create more housing so people come out of that list. And once people move into uh, subsidized housing, they want to live there. We want to live here, right? Because it's not like the rent uh, market all of a sudden becomes affordable and people move out. Folks live here for a very, very long time or their whole lives. Um, and so... Yeah, that's one of the reasons why the wait list is very, very long. And maybe I'll just share what is the most significant moment for me when we moved to Regent Park. So uh, I don't know if you're fam how familiar you are with Regent Park. So 15 years ago or 10 to 15 years ago, the entire community had these brick buildings. Before I moved here, I have four siblings, my parents, so seven of us, we lived in two bedroom. I was really young, so I thought that was the life. It apparently isn't, it was really hard. Um, and uh, my dad, like most folks, held two jobs, right, to make ends meet. And we were always sort of struggling, like, like um, getting, trying to pay rent and then uh, paying for everything else that comes with raising five children. It's expensive. Um, and uh, so my dad had to get a third job and he couldn't because he's working back to back to back. And so he got a paper route, Toronto Star paper route which I thought was, you know what, it's going to be like the movies. You go in the bicycle, you throw the paper, and, you know, somebody comes out with their robe, and they're like, thank you. Uh, it isn't. Um, so it turns out uh, you go to a parking lot at 2 a.m., an empty parking lot where a guy waits for you with all the papers. He gives you 200 papers, and there's no, like, you know, um, social media or people are not reading news on, the inter uh, on, on uh, online. So there's also ads. They give you 200 subway ads, 200 McDonald ads, and all that. So you carry all that to your car. You put it in the Toronto, uh, inside the Toronto Star paper. You roll it up. You put uh, elastic band and goes in a bag, and that bag has to be thrown. And you actually can't throw it because most people's instruction is you must come inside and put it their side door, front door, back door. So there's a, a lot of process. So I did that every Saturday for like two years. I think it was like 11 and 12. Um, why did I do that? Yeah, I was safe, really. Um, I did it because um, it was the only, there's 10 minutes after giving all the paper. We, Me and my dad would sit and he'd order a tea in uh, Tim Hortons. And I will get a bagel plain bagel toasted with butter and that was the 10 minute the longest 10 minute i would see my dad the entire week so every week i would go and you know i would want to go so i can have that 10 minute but it came with the price of four hour paper route the significant moment when we moved here is we no longer had to do that paper route which was the it was really surreal to me. I was like, wait, we no longer have to do the thing that we did every day for three years, 4 a.m. So it sort of changed uh, the um, overall uh, component of the family, right? And this obviously we want social housing because we need people to have money so they can use it on other things. But we don't. what we don't see is things like um, health of a family, right? Like we saw our dad more than we've ever seen him our whole lives. Uh, we learned things like my dad used to um, swim in the river. In growing up as a child, I didn't even know he could swim, so he could. 
Um, and he could, he's a, like a history and a geography nerd. He likes all the countries, knows all the histories, all, knows all the, all that cool stuff. And that we learned after I was 13, after we had moved here, after we actually got to know our dad because he had more time. So, so what I'm trying to say is ha ha people having affordable housing is more than just having extra money, right? It's the overall health, emotional, um, physical health of people. People feel well, uh, families do better, and we um, are able to have next generations that don't struggle, are not stuck in the same place as current generations are. So, yeah. thanks folks. So she'll also be at the q and If you have any questions about TCHC and things like that, she will be there. All right, next stop, we're gonna keep walking that away.